With an annual rainfall of only 350 millimeters, the southeast of Spain has a desert-like climate and landscape. Well, before the pipes came, it was all land without trees, only land, with only some barley and plants that hardly grew. There was nothing. Jose Ferrer Sanchez is on the receiving end of the Tajo Segura water supply channel. Built in 1968 by the Franco government, the Tajo Segura water supply channel was inspired by World War II American soldiers who wanted to grow lettuce for their hamburgers. Twice monthly, Sanchez pays his water bill. This enables him to keep his private reservoir supplied with water that has traveled a remarkable journey over 400 kilometers from the Tajo River. In Spain, as in Arizona, water is transported and stored in a system of huge canals, pipelines and reservoirs. At the Talave Reservoir, the Tajo is joined by water from the Segura River. The Ojos pumping station catapults water straight up the side of a mountain at a rate of 22 cubic meters of water per second. The La Padira Reservoir is the last holding tank before the water reaches Mercia via the Mantaza aqueduct, a structure that is a direct descendant of Roman engineering. The gift of water has brought life to farmlands in this region. So much life that Mercia is now called the kitchen garden of Europe. But some say that this gift of water is actually stolen property, pilfered from farms in one region and transported to fields in another. Clemente Cervantes Crevella's hands did not always pound the keys of a municipal typewriter. Low water levels in the Segura River, caused by a combination of drought and diversion of the waterway, forced Clemente to abandon his peach orchard in 1994. In the year 1994, we lost a lot of land. It happened because our pump could not pump enough water, and some of the water we pumped was loaded with salt. That was the final blow, to use that kind of water for irrigation purposes. The water has been diverted through Molina and to Orihuela, but it actually does not reach Orihuela. They are in even worse shape than we are. The Segura is almost dry. The water companies use most of it, but some of it is used to irrigate farmland. And the ones who get the water that has been diverted are the lucky ones. They can always get their water. I don't worry about it now, because I'm not going to plant trees anymore. If I knew there was going to be enough water, I would gladly use my land. But I'm not going to invest money, and then at the end of the day be in the same situation as now. There are people looking for land on which to build houses. So maybe one day I will divide the land and sell the whole lot. Loss and gain, success and doom. One man's field of citrus, another's field of dust. The ingenious methods of diverting and transporting water to dry regions all over the world carry undeniable human consequences that often reach far beyond man's original vision. <laughs>